and then complete at least one transaction for seven days and then you will now be able to claim the points for this after seven days but if you check the previous two which is to borrow and supply asset on echelon you can see that they have been verified i'll move on to the next task So here we are to visit the stable jack website and then we are to mint x move. So get rid of the announcement. Then connect wallet. For this one we are going to use metamask. You will get a prompt to switch your network to MEVM. Now, before you can do anything, we are going to need LST move to mint our X move. So, what you do is to tap on the sidebar menu by the top right, then tap on LST move for set. Once you tap on it, you are going to wait for a while and then you are going to receive a prompt in your wallet to confirm the transaction. So after claiming from faucet you have lst move and then you can indicate the amount of lst move you can see i have 5000 indicate the amount you would like to spend to mint x move there are two tokens that you can mint here we have x move and we have move usd if you want to mint one and leave the other you simply tap on the one that you want to mint and then the other one will be eliminated but i do not intend to mint one and leave the other so i am going to tap on mint with lst move approve lst move in your wallet Tap on next and then approve. Now tap on confirm mint. Then confirm transaction in your wallet. Transaction successful. Now I am going back to Gauss to get verified. So we have visited the website and we have minted X move. I'm going to claim my points. I'll switch over to the next task. The next task is to visit the website and mint move USD. Remember that I minted both just now. So I'll simply just visit the website again without doing anything else i will come back and then i am going to verify the task verified i am going to claim the point I will switch over to the last task. And here we are going to visit the website and we are going to deposit Move USD into Rebalance Pool. So once you are here, connect your wallet and then tap on Deposit Move USD. Indicate the amount of move USD that you would like to deposit, then tap on Approve Move USD. Once the approval is done, tap on Deposit.
confirm transaction in wallet. Deposit successful, I'll go back to girls and then verify the task. I'll claim the points. I am back on movement. Next up, we are going to complete Spartan Quest. Please note that the speed at which you can see my task getting completed on the screen is not the same speed it is going to cost you when you are doing your interactions. I have trimmed out so many unnecessary details to reduce your viewing time. So what we want to do now is to onboard ourselves into Henry Rewards platform. I'll tap on the link. What we are here for is to install the Henry Rewards browser extension. So tap on Add to Chrome. Tap on OK. Once installed, you'll be redirected to the sign-in page. You can decide to sign in with Google account or you can decide to sign in with your Discord account. Tap on Authorize. And then you are going to choose your display name, you are going to choose your nationality, you are going to choose your shopping interests. Once you have entered all details required, you are going to tap on the arrow at the bottom to move to the next page. And on the next page, you are to enter the email address associated with your girl's account. And then the next page, you are to enter a referral code to be, to be able to access Henry Social. Okay, so you can find the referral code in the comment section. At this stage, we have successfully finished onboarding and then I am back on girls. The next one is to refer 10 people into the browser extension. Then the next one is to join Telegram. The last item is to withdraw the rewards that you have earned on Henry. And we haven't done anything on Henry, so there is no rewards to claim. So I simply claimed my 40 points as it is and I am back on movement website. Now, the next task is to make our first purchase on Henry Locks Rewards. However, I am going to skip this because it seems to involve spending mainnet funds, which I am not willing to do at this point. So, the next task is to get Spartan Discord role. And to do that, you simply tap on it. It is like a quiz, but all you need to do is to tap on claim. And then tap on submit. So it is supposed to award you with the role, but for a reason I think the task is currently logged. If you check the number of people who have claimed this as well, they are not more than 27. So maybe it is for certain sets of people, I do not know. So I am back on movement and I will move on to the next task, which is to land on move position. So I am on move position website. I am going to connect my wallet. I am choosing nightly. Our approve connection. Now to lend any asset, I am going to stay on the supply tab and I can choose any asset from the ones I am seeing on the list. Then I am going to tap on the plus button beside the asset I want to supply. I am then going to indicate the amount that I want to supply. I am supplying USDC. Then I tapped on review, then tapped on supply USDC. I then confirmed the transaction in my wallet. I am back on girls and then I am going to verify the lending task. I am going to switch over to the next task. Still on that move position.
and this time we are to supply move i just supplied usdc so i'll go back to move position and i'm going to scroll until i find move i'll tap on the plus button i'll enter the amount of move that i want to supply tap on review then tap on supply move and then you are going to confirm the transaction in wallet Supply successful, I'll go back to girls. I'll verify the task. I'll claim my points. I'll switch over to the next task. This time we want to borrow any asset on move position. I'll switch over to the borrow tab, you can see it beside supply. I'll then choose the asset that I want to borrow. I'll be borrowing USDC, I'll tap on the plus button, then indicate the amount of USDC I want to borrow. I'll tap on review, tap on borrow USDC and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Borrow successful. And once I have done that, I will go back to girls and then I'm going to first verify this one. I'll claim the point. Now, I am going to switch over to the next task. And then you can see the requirement for this. Complete 5 length transactions on the move position app. So, let's go back to move position and then switch over to the supply tab. We are going to supply 5 more times. I'll choose an asset, I'll tap on the plus button, indicate the amount I want to supply. I'll tap on review, I'll tap on supply USDT and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Supply successful. Now I am going to repeat this transaction until I have done it five times. Then I'll go back to Gauss. I'll verify the task. I'll claim my points. I'll switch over to the next task. This time we want to supply ST move, so we are back on move position. I'll tap on the plus button. Indicate the amount of ST move to supply. Oh, I do not have ST move. At the moment so i'm going to skip this and then come back when i find a dap where i can swap some tokens into st move for now i am going to skip supply st move and borrow st move task and then going to move on to the next one i'll come back later to complete those two next up we want to interact with zebra and the first task on zebra is to mint tokens on zebra faucet I'll visit the web app. I am 
I'm going to connect my wallet. Now, to mint tokens, I am going to switch to the faucet tab. And then I am going to connect my address, then tap on airdrop coins. Minting of test tokens failed at the first try, and what went wrong is the fact that I am on a different network. So I opened my Razor wallet, and as you can see, I am currently on Movement EVM. So I tapped on that drop down and then changed my network to Movement 3. And then I went back to Zebra and I am going to reconnect my wallet because the address on each chain is different. So this time when I reconnected my wallet address, my address is now my SWE address. Then I tapped on airdrop coins. I then signed it in my wallet. As you can see, claiming is successful this time. Now you are going to repeat it for three times. And once you have repeated that three times, we are back on Gauss and then we are going to verify. So the second task says to mint testnet tokens one time. We have done that. And then another one says to mint testnet tokens three times. And that is why I said you should repeat it for three times before. Now we have verified everything. If you refer friends, you are going to claim more points. But we have done what is most important and we have claimed our points. I am going to switch over to the next task. Now we are going back to the Zebra app and we are going to make some swap. So I am going to tap on the swap tab. I will choose tokens that I want to swap between. I will be swapping Gmove for Move. I will tap on Swap Now and then complete the transaction in my wallet. Swap is successful. Now what I want to do is to repeat this interaction 10 times. Once I have done that, I'll be back on Gauss. Now I am going to verify the first task, swap three times. And I am going to also verify the second one, swap ten times. I'll claim my points. I'll move to the next task. This time we want to provide liquidity on Zebra. So we are back, I will tap on the liquidity tab. Then I will choose the liquidity token pair of my choice. I am adding move and G move to liquidity, so I am going to specify the amount of each token that I want to add to liquidity pool. Then I will tap on add liquidity. I will then confirm transaction in my wallet. Liquidity added successfully. Now I am going to repeat this task five times. Once you have done that five times, go back to Gauss and then verify all tasks. Provide liquidity one time, provide liquidity five times. I am going to verify everything together. And I will move on to the last task on that zebra. Now, we want to withdraw our liquidity. I will tap on the Portfolio tab. I will tap on Remove Supply.
and then confirm this in my wallet. Liquidity removed successfully. Now I am going to repeat this and make it up to five times. After doing that, I'll go back to girls and then verify my interaction. I'll claim my points. And that is all for zebra task. I'll go back to movement. All zebra tasks has been verified. By this time, we are already halfway into tasks on Spartan's Guide. Have this video been helpful to you so far? If yes, then do well to like this video. That is how I can know that it is actually useful and valuable. We are going to stop here and we are going to continue from here in the next video.